वेलकम बैक टू अनदर क्लास ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज यू रेजी वन जीरो फोर आई एम मंजीत रावत यूर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट क्लास फॉर एवरी एज यूर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर बिकॉज इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू गाइड यू ईच एंड एवरी थिंग रिलेटेड टू एज यू बी पी एन एंड एक्सप्रेस रूट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल्स दैट हेल्प अस टू स्टैब्लिश कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन ऑन प्रोमाइस रिसोर्सेज टू द एज यू रिसोर्सेज दैट यू स्टैब्लिश ओवर अ पोर्टल विल शेयर यू द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द गैप बिटवीन एज यूर एक्सप्रेस रूट एंड एज यू वी पी एन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन साइड टू साइड वी पी एन एंड साइड टू पॉइंट वी पी एन आई नो इट विल टेक मच टाइम बिकॉज यू नो दैट द प्री रिक्यूटी टू स्टैब्लिश अवर एज यू वी पी एन यू मस्ट नीड टू इन्वॉल्व मल्टीपल कॉम्पोनेंट्स और मल्टीपल सर्विसेज दैट विल हेल्प अस टू स्टैब्लिश अवर नेटवर्क सो डू वन थिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द प्री रिक्यूजिट मीन्स वट आर द सर्विसेज दैट यू नीड टू परचेज ओवर अ पोर्टल एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज सर्विसेज वी आर एबल टू इस्टैब्लिश कॉम्युनिकेशन विद ऑन प्रोमाइस रिसोर्सेज सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी टेक इन आर डी पी ऑफ माई ऑन प्रोमाइस विंडोज इलेवन मशीन दिस इज माई ऑन प्रोमाइस विंडोज कंप्यूटर एंड दिस वन इज अवर एज यू पोर्टल एंड आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वर्चुअल मशीन ओवर एज यू पोर्टल एंड देन विल कनेक्ट अवर सेम वर्चुअल मशीन विद ऑन प्रोमाइस विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्राइवेट आई पी एड्रेस वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू इन्वॉल्व एनी काइंड ऑफ पब्लिक आई पी एड्रेस ओके सो लेट मी गाइड यू अबाउट द द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स आर सर्विस इज रिक्वायर टू स्टैब्लिश एज यू वी पी एन वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप यू मस्ट नीड टू क्रिएट azure vnet right this is really important for us we must need to create azure vnet and add two subnets right minimum two subnets to set up azure vpn right and one more uh, uh, service required yes this is really important i'm talking about azure virtual gateway right so these three important service that i'm going to purchase because the azure virtual gateway will take up to 30 minute to ready your uh, um like as a, to 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 ready your azure virtual gateway and after that we are going to perform the task so do one thing i'm going to guide you everything but for uh, the first step open your azure vnet and over a vnet although i have already created two different virtual network but let me create a fresh vnet that you can understand about each and every uh is uh, steps to create your own vnet vnet uh, that i decided with name of azure vpn vnet central us is our location next and this is the place where we can uh, provide the information about ip address 192.168.1.0 and let's proceed with the slash 25 and it will give us a like 64 plus 64 subnet one subnet i'm going to create for virtual machines right subnet for vm right this is applicable for virtual machines so let me proceed with slash 26 we'll get up to 64 ip addresses right and add one more subnet and this time the subnet that you need to add which is virtual network gateway and again same uh, ip address we are going to provide to the virtual network gateway and click add very basic steps required next and review mm -hmm. this is first step right you must need to create your virtual machine you must need to uh, create your uh, virtual network and after that in the same virtual network we are going to uh, set up right we are going to establish our um, one vm in subnet one and another uh, virtual gateway will create another subnet right and uh, wait for few moment because it will take up to 2 minute to create your uh, vnet and after that once our vnet is ready to use we'll proceed for the next step right like create virtual machine and create as virtual gateway right so vnet is ready to use and i'm going to open another page of same account same tenant and let's create one virtual machine right we haven't created any virtual machine so far so let me create one virtual machine and make sure your virtual machine must be available in same network right so i don't want to go with the availability set let's proceed with no infrastructure no trusted and create virtual machine lightweight operating system i'm going to select windows server 2016 provide your own username and password
Fine. Uh, 3389 mandatory to turn on because with the help of this particular logical port, we are going to take RDP, right? And select your own VNet that we just created, right? The VNet that we created with the name of Azure VPN and your virtual machine must be part of VM subnet. Fine. Next, next, review and create. Again, it will take up to five minutes to ready our virtual machine. But meanwhile, let me create Azure Virtual Gateway, right? The virtual gateway, which is mandatory that work as a mediator to provide connection between on-premises resources to cloud resources. Ready to use, I'm just going to proceed. Open all services, Azure Virtual Gateway, right? This is the service that we decided, Virtual Gateway, Azure Virtual Gateway, let me check. Right, virtual network gateway. You just need to select it. We don't have any virtual network gateway and this is applicable for hybrid connectivity, right? Uh, that give, you, give us option to set up VPN, side to point and side to side. And also it will help us to create our express route. Type uh, unique name, like uh, let me proceed with name of class gateway, right? This is the name of our gateway. Central US is our location. Right now, I'm going to proceed with VPN. Later, we'll discuss about the express route, the gap between both. Uh, multiple protocols are available, which is part of SKU stock keeping unit. We can proceed with VPN Gateway 2 AZ, VPN Gateway 1 AZ. Multiple options are available. So let me proceed with the first one, Generation 2. No need to do anything. Select your own network, right? The network that we established with name of Azure VPN Gateway. Uh, Azure VPN VNet and under the VNet we created a one gateway subnet. No need to do anything, provide your public IP address, VPN public IP and secondary VPN public hyphen IP. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the logical ports. I don't want to make any changes on this particular page. Please proceed with create. And now your virtual gateway will take up to 25 to 30 minutes, right? So once our virtual network gateway is ready to use, I'll show you the steps how we can connect our on-premises machine with the help of Azure VPN, Site 2 Point VPN, right? And we'll talk about the gap between Site 2 Point and Site 2 Side VPN. It is in progress and uh, let me help you to understand the work of these this infrastructure. For example, this is our Azure VPN, uh, Azure portal, right? And uh, this is our on-premises infrastructure. If you're going to connect entire resources of organization, this is your office premises, no matter what's your location, and this is individual computer or individual machine that you establish on on-premises. In organization, you know that multiple resources are available, means multiple computer, multiple storage, database, ADDS, lots of resources are connected with one centralized device, right? The all devices are connected with dedicated switch. And this machine is also connected with ISP. I'm trying to define you the gap between uh, side to point VPN and side to side VPN. So basically over Azure portal, what we need to do Azure VNet. First of all, you need to establish Azure VNet and then create two subnet. One is VM subnet and the second part is related to uh, gateway subnet. It's gateway subnet. Right. So uh, as per the name suggests, the, v, uh, the VM subnet that you established, you can create number of virtual machine on this particular subnet. And the second one is gateway. So gateway, it work like as a mediator that we are going to use to set up VPN or express route, right? It's totally depend upon you. It's require. It's totally depend upon the client's requirement. You can say that uh, VPN will give us a two different method. One is site 
to site right so whenever we connect with dedicated organization the proper office you are going to connect for the multiple resources which is considered as a site to site and another is site to point in case of site to point you are going to connect individual machine you are going to connect with individual machine so today i am going to show you the steps how we can create a site to point vpn multiple protocols are involved in case of azure vpn portal so we are going to talk everything once our virtual gateway is ready to use i'll show you this is the deployment process of azure virtual gateway and as i told you it will take up to 25 to 30 minute time so you have to wait up to 30 minute and after that we'll get the access of our virtual gateway and with the help of this gateway we'll set up our lab so what i need to do because our virtual machine is ready our vnet is working properly with multiple subnet we are waiting for the gateway so once our gateway is ready to use i'll show you the steps to connect with the help of self-signed certificate and also i'll guide you about uh, the procedure how we can connect our on-premises resources with the help of azure active directory users right the microsoft intra id users so let's wait i'm going to pause the video once our gateway is ready to use i'll show you the remaining step our azure virtual gateway is ready to use so we successfully created one vnet and under the vnet we added two different subnets right one subnet that contains uh, number of virtual machine the number of vms that you are trying to add the all virtual machines are available in a dedicated subnet and second subnet we directly associated with uh, our azure virtual gateway so i'm going to open the vnet that we created this is azure vnet and in the vnet we created two different subnet one is subnet for virtual machine and another is gateway subnet right everything is okay virtual machine is also running and working properly right this is the virtual machine that we established in our own virtual network and this is our azure virtual gateway you need to open your azure virtual gateway that we created with name of class gateway and go to the settings and it will provide you multiple information point to site connections configuration so we are not going to add a dedicated organization because we are not going to establish a site to site vpn i'm going to show you point to site vpn configuration just need to click here and it will redirect you on another page click on configure now and provide the pool of ip address this is dedicated ip address that you decided for the specific uh, uh, with, with specific range and this uh, uh, address will be applicable for the virtual ethernet whenever we connect our on premises machine your machine will get one dedicated sub uh, uh, NIC card and NIC card will contain these types of IP address. Multiple tunnel type, tunnel type means you can also say that this is a, a protocol. So I'm going to use latest version like uh, open VPN SSL and IKE version 2. <laughs> this is really important part where we can find method to approve your VPN connectivity. So you can proceed with the Azure certificates. And in case of Azure certificate, what you need to do, you need to create your own um, kind of uh, self-signed certificate, right? So with the help of few commands, you are able to establish your own certificate and uh, with the help of certificate you can add, but it will take much time. So that's why I decided to show you the steps. You can go with Azure Active Directory authentication, means the users that you created in Microsoft Intra Admin Panel, with the help of same user ID and password, we are able to provide communication. So let's proceed with this option. And here we need to provide IP address, public VPN IP, right? So I'm going to proceed with this one and it will ask you multiple information. Please provide valid tenant, example, this, this, this. So what you need to do, this is your, uh, uh, URL or you just need to open this uh, page. I'm going to copy the link in description. You can find it. So it will give you the complete information. First, provide login.microsoftonline.com slash tenant, tenant of your Azure Active Directory, right? So I'm, I'm just going to copy it and paste on, sorry, control C notepad right i'm just going to put on notepad paste here 
tenant id right slash tenant id how we can get the tenant id so for this particular information you need to open microsoft intra admin center right you just need to open microsoft intra id and it will give you the information about your tenant copy the tenant and back to the same page and paste here and now copy full link back to the gateway and let me proceed with this and second audience right so about the audience information this is the audience and this is the detail related to the public and we are using public we are not associated with any government right so please copy this information based on notepad and you can save it for permanent this is audience information back and paste here the last information uh, issuer so issuer is also available on this particular page so you just need to copy this information again back to the notepad paste here let me provide the detail related to the tenant so this one is our tenant that we have already used i'm just going to copy it and paste on this particular box copy issuer back and paste on this particular page everything is okay i don't want to do anything right every information we saved successfully and this is about azure active directory right proceed with open vpn ssl all good now you can save it it will take up to 10 minutes right you have to wait up to 10 more minutes and after that it, it will provide you option to download uh, vpn clients and so once you download the vpn client install on the same machine double click it will ask you please provide user id and password so you can use any user name and password that you created on your azure active active so in azure ad i have already created multiple users you are able to see aws clark class telnet gcp alibaba multiple users are available mm -hmm. you can select any of the user and provide username and password and get the access wait for a few more minutes because it will take time so i'm just going to pause the video and we'll show you again.